Okay. Fuck this shit. What is this shit? Where, where does it start? Okay, where does it start? I think this is the point where I ask people to flood the memes. Bailey Delphine inspired me. Buy my new product release. <sighs> I don't even want to know what that is. I'm now selling my bathwater to all you thirsty gamer boys. Classic. What's this? I finally got my hands on some of Bella Delphine's Game of Girl bathwater. It cost me $30, but now I have what I need to successfully clone my own Delphi sex slave. Huh? Cloning machine before use. Ah, uh, who, who cares? It'll be fine. Dog hair Delphine. What the fuck? <laughs> Join my Patreon to access my private Snapchat. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I love this shit. Uh, I'm now selling my bathwater. This is what humanity has come to get yours here. Uh, Belly Delphine store. We should buy this. Extract her DNA and send it to Elon Musk to clone cat girls. What has everything... Do you... How do you know it's her bathwater though? It could literally just be toilet water. What was I going to do to top my Pornhub stunt? Well, if your guest's selling my bathwater, you'd be right. Get your own here. Pornhub. How much for your toenails? What the fuck? Ugh, <laughs> uh, okay. The comments. How much for your menstrual blood? I'm asking for... Uh, does this mean we could have water that's touched your naked body? Yes. Oh, uh, hey, why are you selling stuff like bath water? I am an elite gamer girl. You gotta respect the fact that she understands the internet. Like, Delphi strokes two big cocks. Like, that is just pure genius. It's not even genius. It's not even a new concept. It was something that's been on heaps of movies like uh, the people that made Scary Movie or Date Movie or something. He's like, I've got a massive 12-inch cock and he pulls out a chicken. It's nothing new. It's just that she uses... The fact that she's a girl and this opportunity to her advantage, you, you got to pay that. And it's you, you got to consider that there's an actual demand for this supply. If it wasn't for the demand, th the supply would be worthless. If there wasn't a dem and, and here's the thing, right? She's not even doing porn. She's like on the fence. She's not a porn star. She's making money off people without having to do porn. That's the genius part. And people are paying for it. Is <laughs> actually selling a bathwater to thirsty fans. You look at her and tell me there's a god. Okay. Selling my bathwater out of stock. We just received your order. Thank you. How do you... <laughs> do you even... Like... How do you even know how many she sold? She could say it's out of stock... But, you know, even if she only, say, sold five, and she says it's out of stock in order to make this blow up on the internet, that people have bought it out of stock. It's the control of supply to make demand here, supply here, to push the value up. It, it, it's such a good publicity stunt, and I'm shocked how many people fall for it. It is so stupid. It's hilarious. I have a five-minute video explaining the water thing. I'm like, okay, I'm more than willing to watch this. Bailey Delphi trolls fans, and they're not too happy about it. What did you expect? Scary part is, the damned is, uh, is because she looks like she's 15. Well, I can only see the pictures, so I don't know. Let's take a look. But the thing is, I'm surprised that her fans would be upset. You would think that people that are fans know what they're getting themselves into. Apparently not. What the fuck? Okay, th stuff like this is just fucked up, but okay. A lot of this is to blame. Uh, let's not go there. But... What the fuck? And just looking from this, you could tell she's playing it. She's got the elf ears. She's got the pink anime hair. She's got... I don't know... Half a kilo of makeup. She knows how to play her audience. Eh. Eh. Okay, let's see. They're not happy about it. Aren't they, though? 
Aren't they the guys that would buy this sort of shit? I mean, in Japan, you could buy people's used underwear. It wouldn't surprise me that she has that somewhere on sale. Like, how are people surprised by this? But okay. I hope I don't get copyright strike for wanting to watch this video. I, I'm clearly curious, like, what the F is going on today on the internet. What is up, guys? Tipster here, and today I have Ooh, a Leon. video for you guys. And I didn't stream last night because I wasn't feeling so good. In fact, you can still kind of hear me a little bit groggy and congested and stuff like that. So I do apologize uh, for that. Uh, having said that, I didn't want to leave you guys on YouTube high and dry without a video. So I'm going to record this video before I head out. Uh, to work just quickly record something for you guys edit and upload it having said that we always talk about a lot of negative topics here on my channel so i wanted to do something that's actually pretty funny talk about something i find really humorous so let's go ahead and let's get right into it now i wanted to i don't even know how many viewers this guy has but i love how he mentions that he's getting this edited out before he has to go to work it is a very real thing, and going by his setup, and then he's got the chroma and the stream deck and the camera and all that good stuff. Guys that have got setups like this, and I, going by the image quality and the sound quality, I would only assume that he's doing pretty well quality-wise, and the fact that this got recommended, but he's still got to work. This is YouTube now. Maybe I should be selling my bath water. Talk to you guys about Bella. Delphine or Belle Delphine, however you pronounce it. I've heard it both ways, so I'm not really sure. This is someone who I never understood why, but she gets a lot of hate. Uh, I get it that some like incels and MGTOW types, they don't like women who use their bodies to uh, make money and stuff like that. Personally, I'm just going to stop you there for a minute. Incels and MGTOW are upset at her. I don't see her copyright claiming my videos. I don't give a fuck. If she's not hurting anyone, right? And she's not causing problems for other people. And her audience clearly wants to pay for whatever she's giving. Who cares? It's no different from anything else that you can get on the internet, right? She's just, I would say, smart because she knows how to market herself. We're talking about her now, right? That's marketing. I give credit to that. And truth be told, if I was a girl, right, knowing what I know and having all the experience I have, I would probably have anime hair and be trolling people on the internet too because it's probably the only way to get yourself out there. I probably wouldn't be like, selling photos and half-naked and all that sort of stuff, but I would troll the shit out of the internet because if I was a girl, I know I could get away with it. Carry on. Personally, I don't have an issue with you, uh, with you doing that. Uh, if you're an attractive woman and you could make money uh, by just looking cute on the he internet, gave her a compliment. why the hell not? Uh, honestly, if I were a woman that had, like, big jugs and, like, an attractive body... I probably would do the same, so I honestly don't have- This guy, fuck this, I'm, I'm, I'm subbing straight away, I'm subbing. He and I are on the fucking same chromosome wavelength. He's getting a sub. He's getting a sub. Uh... Here's some love. Done. Continue. I have an issue with it. Having said that, Belle Delphine kind of trolled her fans recently, and they're honestly not too happy about it. If we go and take a look uh, at this screenshot here on her Instagram... I had to heavily edit it because I'm not trying to get demonetized or have this video taken Is down. Is she naked YouTube. or did she just fuck uh, with them? Not that there was any nudity or anything, but I had to edit it anyway. But basically, Bella Delphine uploaded this picture to her Instagram and she says, If this photo gets 1 million likes, I'll actually make a Pornhub account. 
Uh, the time has officially come. Tag your friends slash dad to help out. We even have the official Pornhub Instagram account responding with, this is the best news I've heard all year. Uh, so this is uh, actually really funny. And uh, surprisingly, uh, she actually got there. We can see that she made uh, almost two what I said about marketing on this particular post to which she followed up uh, with this post here. Again, I had to censor it. Uh, you did it, <laughs> Gamer Boys. I'm still making videos for you guys, and I'll upload them in two days. So basically, she's promising that she's going to create the Pornhub account, and uh, she actually did. Uh, I actually had to heavily censor this as well, but uh, here is the... <laughs> Pornhub account. This is just funny. Uh, we can see that she has already 5.1 million video views over there. See what I mean by clever marketing? 2K subscribers over on her Pornhub, and we can see various different videos. That I she's love how censored this uh, is. We've got you know, Belle Delphine gets huge dripping cream pie. <laughs> Belle Delphine gets huge Fuck. load blowed on her. Belle Delphine uh, doggy style wait when they say huge cream pie on her I, I i literally if i was her i would get a cream pie and like my my, my friend had this uh uh it was like a lemon tart for his birthday his girlfriend baked it and he had like white cream and we were making fun of a friend of ours that was eating it, and he got it on his nose and he got it all over his mouth and we're like oh man clean yourself up so we were making like sex jokes at him because he got all the white i'm like oh it's white clean yourself up if i was a chick i would literally do that I would be like, uh, Miss Kuma gets massive cream pie, and then I get a literal cream pie, or, or like the one she did with like the two massive cocks, like you get two fucking roosters, shit like that, or uh, she gets blown off or something like that, I would get like a blow dryer, that sort of shit, right, that is just... I get that people would be mad, they're like... <sighs> I shared this to all my friends. I need to see your boobs. But it's like, you fucking idiot. She's clearly using you. <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm laughing at you for being so stupid to not realize that you're being used and played. But okay. POV. Uh, lots of interesting videos uh, by her here. But here's the thing. She said she was going to create a porn hub. And she did. She did not say she was going to do porn. So exactly. Interesting titles here, which sound like porn titles for sure. But if you actually watch the videos, which we are going to do, I know it sounds crazy. We're going to watch porn. Fucking knew it. There's no porn. YouTube, but that's exactly what I would do. Get in trouble here. <laughs> actually, I uh, might do it for the shits and giggles. Actually, in one of these videos. The what volume the is fuck? a little low on them, so I apologize. Her audio wasn't very good. But uh, check this out. <laughs> this is Belle Delphine gets a huge load blown on her. So not exactly what you would expect, right? Yeah, her audio is terrible. I don't, I don't know what the deal was. I don't think audio, people are here for uh, the audio, that was mate. Belle Delphine gets a huge load blown on her. This next one is called PewDiePie Goes uh, All the Way Inside Belle Delphine. So of course she needs to one. tag PewDiePie. Of course she needs to tag <clears throat> PewDiePie. <laughs> <laughs> Does she eat it or something? Oh fucking you can't hell! Really hear it, but of course, audio of, of course, in the background. Of course, and she's just eating a picture of PewDiePie. Of course. <laughs> See, this is genius on multiple levels. A, she's playing her audience, which we know. B, it's on Pornhub, where a lot of people's metadata is going to be that they're watching PewDiePie. Pornhub probably tracks your browsing as much as YouTube and Google does. So if you're a fan of PewDiePie and you're on Pornhub, they'll probably recommend you videos with the metadata of PewDiePie. So this will get pushed to them. Third, PewDiePie's fans are going to see this and get the news out to PewDiePie. For as soon as he sees it, it's going to be free marketing for her. Like, it works on so many levels. And she knows this. I give credit to this. She's playing the game and winning, and people are mad. They're not mad that she's doing this. They're mad that they're so fucking stupid that they didn't realize it and got played. That's what they're mad about. She's just a fucking troll. I'm actually entertained by this. This may sound fucking insane, but I would actually... 
want to talk to her to see what's inside that head. Because as soon as I said I would do something like a blow dryer, I would fucking grab a, a bottle of coke and do that in my room. That that would cause so many problems. A, the carpet would get fucked up. B, the floor, and I ha I would hate cleaning it up. But her idea is even more simple than mine. She didn't even have to get a blow dryer or anything. She just went to the fucking convenience store and bought a two liter bottle of coke. Like, 30 minutes of work. Okay, probably m more effort went into her doing her makeup for that video than having to prep and do the video. That is the genius of it. It's fucking hilarious. And what I find... What, what I find even more hilarious is that people are pissed off about this, expecting that... How could you be so stupid? It's like the whole PewDiePie, I'm going to delete my account at 50 million or 70 million or whatever. I never for a second thought he would delete it. I was like, oh, he's going to delete, uh, delete his secondary account that he made for the shits and giggles to make fun of Jacksepticeye. Well, not make fun of him, but like make fun at the fact that YouTube didn't deliver his play button properly, uh, properly right? And I'm honestly shocked that millions of people legitimately thought he was going to delete, destroy his primary source of income that's making him millions of dollars a year. Are you fucking insane? Like, if you honestly believe- oh my god, like, I'm sorry, I can't. I- 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 I can't even say it, I'm gonna lose brain cells. Oh, man. It's just funny because her fans were like, hell yeah, we're going to get to see Bella Delphine nude and she's going to do porn and stuff. It's gonna she be could at the very and, least uh, look at the webcam like I am right now. This is what she's doing. Up. Looking above the web. She's probably looking at the preview. <laughs> you don't look at the preview. Stop looking at yourself. Look you at the camera. You don't need to look at the preview like I'm looking at the preview of myself right now. No. Fucking eye sad. contact, right? Or maybe she's just, maybe she's just teasing, but what the fuck? Of course. <laughs> and that and smirk, I, I, I that smirk right there is the smirk of someone that knows what they're doing. I've, I've, I've done that smirk a million times when I've done something like Kukichi. Like when I Kukichi'd someone or Kukichi'd my way around something, that is the grin that you have. That is the grin of, I, I know that grin, right? I know I've done that grin. You gotta be an idiot not to see that she's clever. Downloaded one other one. This is Bella. Oh, five out of ten. No, she's not. dude. It. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not analyzing her looks or commenting on the looks. Looks aside, she's playing the. You okay? Okay. Fuck it. Fuck it. You want to go there? Fine. Do you know the reason why porn stars are not that attractive? Let's be real for a minute. You can have a really amazing... Fuck it. We could have a model or we can have a Hollywood star. They wouldn't make it in porn. Hands down, they wouldn't make it in porn. Why? It's not relatable. It needs to be something for people to be able to turn into a fantasy. Something that's... It's something that's too... Out of the realm of possibility doesn't work. But a girl that's attractive, but not too attractive, is something you can project being... It's familiar enough for it to be believable enough in your mind that it can actually happen. Whereas someone that's, I don't know, a fucking, let's say, Miss Universe contestant, or a Miss Universe or something, your, your mind tells you it's fake, it's not going to be real. Whereas someone that's real enough is enough to convince you that it's possible. That's why that's why it, it, there's this huge demand of amateur content and you know it's no longer high production studio porn like it was. It's all amateur local bedroom sort of crap because it's familiar enough for people. It's relatable enough for people. And I I'm not going to I'm not going to rate this girl out of 10 or anything, but uh, how do I tiptoe around this? You don't need to be attractive when your audience is not going for base beauty. They're going for the color of your hair, your makeup, your ear. Like, just two seconds. 
Anime hair, look at the amount of makeup around her. She knows exactly what she's gunning for. The cat ears, like... Uh, anime shirt, like the back, she knows exactly what she's gunning for, and she's hitting it, but what these people want is not someone attractive. There's heaps of attractive people in the world. They're looking up this basic anime girl, right? That's what they're looking for. You don't need to be attractive to be an anime girl when you're wearing half a kilo of fucking makeup on your face. It doesn't work, and if you were attractive, the makeup would only fuck up your face. Because attractive people don't need that much makeup in the first place. You get what I'm saying, right? People that are good looking naturally would get ruined by this much makeup and hair color and shit. They wouldn't look cute anymore. They'd look weird. <laughs> Let's continue. Did I tiptoe around that? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get blasted for it anyway. Delphine gets huge dripping cream pie. <laughs> see, oh fuck, do you see that? I would have gotten an actual pie made of cream. She got, is that a pie case and whipped cream? She, she's even more lazy. She just picked this up from a local grocery store. Whereas I would have gotten an actual pie. It's Jeez. not even a pie. It's a pie... Holder. This is false advertisement. There's no pie there. Okay, she's oh, making man. a pie out of cream. Well played. So there's her huge cream pie there. And then she just pies herself in the face. <laughs> <laughs> so it's funny because she could have been like licking it, which would have been more sexual in nature. You know, like the whole popsicle thing. That we had in Dangarompa when, you know, they're licking the popsicle. It's very erotic because that's what they're going for. Or like getting a banana or get... You, that's why there's such a huge thing about... You, you know that place where you have like the, like the helium balloon, but it's basically a dessert and you eat it by sucking on it? Well, people take their dates there. Like one of their promotional videos is this cute girl literally doing that with her tongue and eating it. it it's basically like a blowjob. You're essentially looking at a blowjob without your dick she's like fuck it i'm not gonna do that erotic thing i'm just gonna be stupid on my face i'm licking it off she's poking fun at her audience and they're mad why would you be mad if you're so fucking stupid that she's making fun of you my god not exactly what you would expect on pornhub when you no, hear, this is exactly uh, what I would expect from someone like this. Pie. So obviously she trolled her fans because all her fans thought, yes, we're going to get to see Belle Delphine do porn. And that's not exactly Your fans are fucking idiots. Got. So some fans were pretty upset. Uh, of fact, course they're upset. Comments on those of, 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 of course they're fucking upset. They'd be fucking heavy breathing and, and keyboard shit. Of course they're fucking upset. They're going to fucking write in their journals about it and breathe heavily. And then go back to masturbating all night. <laughs> Fuck. Instagram uh, posts where they were expressing their uh, frustration with being trolled. <laughs> frustration. I bet you're frustrated. I took a look at some of these comments here. We have this one here that says, uh, need to unfollow her uh, all and unlike everything we did, uh, retake the clout we gave her and force her into making... Sorry, I'm going to read this myself because I'm like... Her all and unlike everything we did, retake the clout we gave her and force her into making actual porn because that's what people been into ever since she started. Put her in clout drought and feed it to her as a reward like a little pet when she's actually giving us what we wanted. Holy fucking shit. Whoever wrote this is so disengaged from reality that he or she actually believes they can force this girl to do porn. I'm sorry, my friend, but I don't think she ever intended to do porn. She's doing the next best thing. By tempting you enough to keep throwing money like the idiot you are, so that you hope that she will do porn. She's making more money by not doing porn than, by, than she could possibly make doing porn, you fucking idiot. And, and I love how uh, making actual porn, because that's what people been into ever since she started. 
Well, I fucking know that for sure. You're following her. Obviously, you're into porn. Put her in a cloud drought. I don't even know what a cloud drought is. I'm going to guess it's money. Cloud drought and feed it to her as a reward like a little pet. No wonder you're a fan of someone that wears cat ears when you think people are sex pets. There's a time and place for role playing. When both people are into the role play, go for it. Go for it. And if you find someone as sexually depraved as you are, marry them. Live a long and happy life and make your make each other very happy. But when you start projecting <laughs> your own sexual depravity and think you can apply it and force it on someone in the world? That's pretty messed up. There's a line, right? It's pretty disturbing. And what's more disturbing is that this is probably a good representation of what her fan base is, which is probably why she's doing shit like selling water and doing those type of videos. Because she knows how depraved you motherfuckers are. And yeah, you're probably going to get mad because it's going to strike close to home. And I'm probably hitting you where it hurts and it's insulting. And instead of taking it as a wake-up call that, holy shit, I'm sitting here all day jacking off to a girl that I'm throwing my paycheck to. That is making fun of me. Oh, I'm going to do a 180 and change my life around. And reprioritize what I'm doing. No, you're going to get mad and type comments like this and think you can fall. What the fuck? Just, just, just putting that in my brain hurts. Jesus Christ. Making actual porn because that's what people been into ever since she started. Uh, put her in a clout drought. I didn't even know that was a thing, a clout drought. I have no idea uh, what that even is. to her as a reward, uh, like a pet, when she's actually giving us what we wanted. That's fucking creepy. Uh, and then we have this other comment here. Bella Delphine, you will rue the day, uh, the day that you crushed all the 12 and 13 year old boys who waited a week for your videos. Uh, you posted horrible content and you will pay. Uh, all the gamers are coming together to find you, Bella. Uh, you've uh, got a bounty, uh, wanted dead or alive. Uh, be warned, don't mess with the gamers. <laughs> uh, you may have just started World War Three now. I'm, I'm trying to figure out if this is sarcasm or if this is legit because I like you rue this day the day you crushed all 12 and 13 year old boys who waited a week for your videos I could tell this is by someone that's a little older than 12 13 because they know how to use quotes uh and the and the spelling and grammar is it's not a 12 13 year this person has got to be fucking this is just a person just adding fuel to the fire <laughs> She's a troll with a bunch of idiots following her and a bunch of trolls that follow her now as well. That's just genius. Uh, hats off to you. This is hilarious. Now, obviously, that last one was kind of like... It's worth noting that she first made a demand for publicity uh, before... Whoa, sorry. What the fuck? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to put this down. Um, uh, I'm scrolling down so I can actually read it. It's worth noting that she ma first made a demand for publicity before putting a marketing stunt. That is thinking ahead. She did not just come with one stupid idea and topped it with another. She grew her publicity looking for certain type of people, and then she got the potential buyers. She started selling her bathwater. Yeah, the girl understands business. That's why I'm complimenting her brains in this operation. She thought about this, or at the very least, someone did. Do these people even proofread their comments like doesn't any part of them look at this stuff and think hmm maybe i sound pathetic as fuck that would require self-awareness i don't think some of these people have that they're not sentient they they live on doritos tendies and and porn <laughs> like fuck there was there was there was one post I want to go to it really quickly. I think it was in the MGS thread. Ecto posted it. I have to read this for you. 
I swear I saw that screenshot. I must have pinned it. I must have pinned it. Did I pin it? Here it is. It's this one. And you guys are going to laugh. I'm going to open these up and put it full screen. And I'll read it for you. And it's a bit long, but bear with me. Bear with me. Bear with me. Okay. Um, dump of that kitsune chick that everyone seems to love. Why would you not like her? She's adorable as fuck. Here we go. Oh, I'm not saying I dislike her. I just don't know her well enough behind beyond the porn, lol. This guy, who will not be mentioned. She tore my family apart. No, she tore apart my family. I will forever despise her. My little brother became obsessed with Kitsune. That damn girl. Body pillows. Minifigures. He receded into the dark cave that was his bedroom. He began gaining weight and sprouted a neck beard. Ate nothing but burrito, <laughs> Doritos and Tendies. Drank only Mountain Dew. Mother tried to reason with him. Pleading. Praise. Punishment, bribery, nothing got through. He made piss bottles and numerous cum jars. Soon he grew into lord of all neckbeards. His grotesque weight <laughs> jeopardizing the structure of our home. My father had to try persuade him. Son, he said, please come out. Mother needs you. I need you. This family isn't the same without you. The creature grew enraged. In an instant, he slithered from his striking gaming chair and crushed my father, killing him instantly, keeping the body under a pile of unwashed dishes. My mother was utterly broken. Doing anything he said, his reek filled the house. To escape it, my sister moved to a crack house. I'm struggling to read this. Soon he was consuming my father's remains. After his grim realization, my mother hanged herself in the airing cupboard. She left a note. Remember to bring your brother <laughs> his tendies. I read this before and I'm struggling not to laugh. My last shred of resolve left me. Brother, I screamed. She isn't real. He's gnarled, grease dripping from his beard. You're better than this. He moved towards me, his immense weight snapping his chair like a twig. He would have killed me, but he noticed splinters of but he noticed splinters of chair had damaged his, his kitsune body pillow. <laughs> Enraged, he cried. Ree! and slammed his fists into the floor. Under the force of his meat hammers, the floor crumbled. I had time to shelter in the fireplace as the house collapsed, crushing him. He didn't die immediately. The sheer amount of fat on his neckbeard body was enough to extend his suffering for a few short seconds. As he whispered, kitsune sama with the final girling utterance, he slipped into unbeing. I can only imagine what level of hell that creature descended to. This is why I do not like her. I hope now you can understand. If anyone wants me to delete this, can you get me to move it to shitposting instead? Lol. So that's why you were typing for so long. Good lord. Wow, that's pretty epic. You could qualify that to be a Metal Gear Solid villain with that. I had to share this because it pretty much sums up the type of creatures we're dealing with that are upset fans about this girl. You got played. If you're only getting mad every time you get tricked, you're not going to last very long. Take that from Holo the Wise Wolf. Okay, I'll put it this way. If this girl thought up all this by herself, she's got brains. She's got fucking brains. I'm willing to bet that it was someone else feeding her the idea. Probably a guy she's dating. Probably a guy in his mid-20s or maybe early 30s even. That's feeding her what she needs to do to make vast sums of cash really quickly from idiots on the internet. Wouldn't surprise me. All I'm saying is, if you're getting mad every time you get trolled on the internet, you're an idiot. Learn from it. Where were we up to? Oh yeah, we were watching that video. Where were we even up to in that video? Does it even matter? It is- oh my god. Hollow the Wise Wolf approves of this. Now I believe this girl is a genius. If this girl has this amount of brains, fuck me. I don't know how old she is, but it's well thought through and well executed. Like this girl could make a lot of money in business and she is. 
She understands marketing very well. I, I, I give her credit. I give her credit. Where were we up to? It's just a prank, bruh. Probably is. Let's take a look at actually one of these videos. Let's go back to where we were. And I hope we don't Sad. get caught. Fuck. That's and funny. And she just pies it. Go look at some of these comments here. Okay, fuck her me. And force her into... Didn't even know that was a thing. Hello, Delphine. Content in... Uh, World War Three. Now, obviously... I honestly don't understand why Bella Dauphine gets so much hate because this was an epic troll. It so was. Many people were excited to see her do porn and instead Fucking they just idiots. kind of cringy little, I guess you'd call them uh, comedy videos or troll videos. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but either way, I found this absolutely hilarious. Uh, good on Bella Dauphine. She gets a win in my book, personally, because I thought that this was hilarious. It was funny to see the comments of people who were so excited to see her do porn, only to see her not do porn. So that was a pretty epic troll in my book. These people but are idiots. To th having said that, here's nope. the thing. It's a little bit like the idols in Japan doing porn. If you're familiar with it, you've got idols in Japan, like the AKB48, AK whatever the fuck. There's like 50 groups. There's 100 groups, right? And a lot of these girls graduate, meaning they've hit that age where the studio's like, fuck you, we're replacing you with another 16-year-old. You're too old. So what they do is they either go into a solo career where they try singing, rarely works out because they have no singing talent. Acting, rarely works out because they have no acting talent. And the whole thing is on the premise that these fans like what they look like. So they go to the next best avenue. They cash out with a porn debut. However, everyone goes apeshit crazy to watch them to do porn. After they realize how fucking shit they are, ugly they are, and utterly disgusting where they see the porn, their audience disappears. That's the thing. If she does porn, she'll probably lose half her audience. She's playing her cards right. By using the whole bait of possibly doing porn, her audience wants to see her do porn. Once they see that, they've they've scratched that itch. They've got no need for it. Your imagination is your best friend. You can never be as good looking or as good as someone imagines you to be. The second imagination turns into reality... You lose that mystique, that mystery. Mystery, curiosity is king. Anxiety is king. You lose that, you've got nothing. Fuck, I can't believe people don't understand that. Those are just my opinions. What do you guys think about this situation? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. I always like to hear what... You I hope... I hope he doesn't copyright strike us for this. Um, I don't think he will. He seems like a cool guy. I'm pretty sure when he catches wind of this, he'll probably watch it and probably agree with what I have to say because he seems like a pretty cool guy. But like, if he doesn't want me to put the video on YouTube, I understand. But I kind of think it's counterproductive. Um, at this point, I'm basically giving a shout out. I know I'm smaller than his audience, but like, it's still network. Sadly, I'm making it up, but I'm sure there is prank shop that you can buy reason to buy some fart jars. It's like people that sell a bag of air from a concert that some singer could have been breathing the air from. Like it's fools and money are will be easily separated. It, it's fucking. It's like what the fuck? Okay, Delphi selling her bathwater, and it's hilarious. <laughs> What is up guys, Tipster here, and today I have a new video for you guys. And again, for those of you guys watching on the day that I'm uploading, happy 4th of July. Hopefully you all are having oh, a so this fantastic is holiday. And oh, to those of you guys who don't live in the States, uh, just uh, hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh, it's going to win. Either uh, way, we thank just you. recently talked about Bella Delphine Nintendo. and the way she trolled her fans. By the way, I got to say Bell. I keep saying Bella and a lot of you guys is corrected it, me in the last is video it Bell or about Bella? that. I need to say Bell. Bell. I need to train my brain. To Bell. say Bell, because apparently that's how you pronounce it. It's not Bella. But anyway, we just talked about her trolling her fans uh, by creating a Pornhub account. All the fans were excited uh, for her to do porn. 
and she ended up not doing porn. Instead, she uploaded a bunch of uh, funny videos. It was like a really epic troll, uh, to say the least. And uh, I got to be honest, I think I kind of like Belle Delphine now. She's a troll after my own heart in an age where trolling just isn't as, it's not as fun as it used to be. It's gone from epic pranks and, you know, uh, funny hoaxes that trick people and stuff like that like stuff that was actually huge what happened what the fuck happened he's totally out of sync now what the fudge happened oh 13 oh getting more viewers i like that no but what the fudge happened is he gonna be back in sync humorous there we go to now we just like swat and dox people and stupid shit swatting like that. ain't like, cool by the way isn't fun anymore so it's a breath of fresh air to see somebody pull off a classic troll like that but the trolling's not over because Belle Delphine has decided to troll her audience yet again. And this one is, ooh, oh so sweet. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at this. Because on her Instagram, well, you she didn't made the this one, announcement. I'm now selling my bathwater for all you thirsty gamer boys. Fuck Check it out. out my new shop where I'm selling stuff for you. www.belledelphinestore.com. It's probably Hacha going, what the fact, fuck are you see, looking at? You know, this picture here, she's got her uh, bathwater. She's got a game controller. She's got a uh, this is Overwatch. Uh, I believe that's Diva um, style. Of course it of, is. Of course it is. Um, you know, uniform here. I don't play Overwatch. I probably got the character wrong. So correct me in the comments. It probably is wish. Diva. Uh, she's got the super gamer girl headphones. And uh, of course, with the ears. Don't forget the ears. What else can you say? So um, the funny thing is, like, at first, when I first saw this, I thought this has got to be you know, this has got to be a joke. Like, she's not really selling her. No, she's right? not. She's um, but that she is the is. joke. In fact, she made a promo video about it. I had oh, to God, censor said promo video a bit. But let's go ahead and take a look at uh, her little promo video box. here for her selling okay. her bathwater. Let's take a look. Rise up, Game of Boys. Again, her audio is terrible. I don't know what's up with her and audio, but she's always too quiet to hear. It never fails. So she shows her packaging up the bathwater. She includes some of her That's saliva That's clearly a that fucking batch. phone camera. And on this one, she's actually got her butt with some water spraying on it. And she's capturing it by her butt. I think uh, Justin Wang said it best when he said, uh, it's kind of like buying a loot box because you don't know what kind of water are you going to get. Are you going to get the regular water that she just scoops out the tub? Are you going to get the saliva water? Are you going to get the butt water? It's a surprise. Nobody knows. Uh, so he argued that it was kind of like a loot crate, which uh, was pretty funny, uh, if you ask me. But enough of the video. No this wonder the fucking idiot itself. drank it, you and, uh, fucking And as we can see here, gronk. this is her new store where she sells lots of interesting stuff. Mouse pads, uh, posters, posters of like art versions of her, posters of her. Very interesting stuff, to say the least. <laughs> But uh, there we have the bath water, and not only is the bath water thirty dollars, you can buy some of her bath water for thirty dollars. But it's also out of stock. She's already sold out of the stuff. She, she could have just put it out of stock. It. So my bath water actually sold out. What the fuck? I didn't expect oh, to sell so, she so is many posing or to pretty have much this many nude. baths either. LMAO. For anybody waiting on one, don't be worried if they're a little late. I'm working on getting them to you as fast as I I'll can. I'll take another bot uh, later in the way. See my loots here, and she promotes her <laughs> Patreon. So she sold out. How is she using the, the Diva logo without Blizzard getting and pissed the off? The interesting thing saying. about this is normally when you see one of these girls do something like this, people just talk about how oh, typical thought, you know, taking advantage of her fans, and you know, people criticize this. A lot of people actually seem to be digging this move. And the majority of people commenting about this on social media actually be seem to be supporting the move. They actually think it's funny. Because if you really think about it, who's more pathetic in this situation? Exactly! Her for selling her bathwater or the people who are buying it. Exactly! Fucking, fucking troll. I think the funniest thing about this is, yeah, she did the little video where she shows her scooping it out of the water and spitting it into the cup and putting it by her butt and the rinse off water is flowing into the jar or whatever. But you know she's probably just going to the tap in her sink and she's just like putting it in there. Like she can't possibly be doing this for every single container. That would clearly, yeah. And and there's a there's a sort of um there's a thing in consumer law in Australia where 
if you buy something on the premise that it's something and it's not, it's you're, you're pretty much, you know, it's it's a scam. You can get a refund and the person can get in trouble. Unless, and, and here's the funny part, unless, Australia's consumer law is some of the best in the world. Consumer laws in Australia are so strong that fucking companies get fucked in Australia so badly. They can have a no refund policy, no exchange policy. I could just say, the impression you gave me at the time of purchase was this, what I received was this. I could have used the entire product and still get a refund. Consumer law in Australia is, you know, against false advertisement and misleading conduct, unless, and here's the silver lining, unless it is so ludicrous to believe that the the information or the thing is legitimate, that it simply does not apply. So if you say something like best pizza in Australia and you order it and you eat it and you say, oh, I want a refund because I was you know, told this is the best pizza in Australia. Clearly it's not. I want a refund. The, the Australian consumer watchdog will say, well, you're a fucking idiot for believing it's the best pizza in Australia, you gronk. Like literally. So, in Australia, if I bought one of these, right, and I did some, I don't know, fucking scientific testing to see whether or not there is any saliva in the water or any skin or whatever, you know what I mean, like, and prove that, oh, this is just tap water, there is absolutely no saliva or skin that would have fallen off if it was actual bath water, I want a refund of my $30, and I took her up to an Australian consumer court that is there to protect my consumer rights, they will look at me dead in the eye and say, you're a fucking idiot. It'd be ridiculous. But anyway, most people seem to be in, in support of this because it's hilarious. In fact, there's some pretty funny fucking memes coming she out She lives of this. in England? Uh, let's take a look at some oh of them God. here. Oh my God. Uh, we have this one by Ricky Berwick, the <laughs> master of memery. Let's take a look. Gotta love Ricky Berwick. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> oh. I love Ricky so much. Oh. So there we go. We got Ricky scooping up his shower water, putting it in these little containers, so you can buy you some. Uh, Ricky Berwick bathwater, if you really want it. <laughs> Spitting it in there just like she did. Okay, dude, seriously, uh, he stop. He doesn't do the butt water, though. I would imagine it's probably a little stop. different for him, but it kind of runs off of his nipples, so it's just as good, right? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, man. I feel oh, like vomiting. In there. I'm there glad go, I didn't Ricky. have breakfast. You're doing it right. Like a true thought. Drink Crip Water. Crip Water, he calls it. <laughs> Fucking Rick. I feel physically uh, ill. I can't believe have, I'm forced uh, to react I've to this. I've never heard shit. of this guy, Goose. What one. the fuck? And he does his own version of it, too. Which, unfortunately, as funny as this one is, I'll link it in the description down below. But as funny as it is, I can't show it to you because, unfortunately, uh, part of his nutsack is hanging out of whatever this is that he's wearing. So I can't show it to you guys, unfortunately. But trust me, it's hilarious. Go take a look at it. Wow. Uh, Boogie even got in on the action. Oh, Still God. Tesla. People are giving him so much shit about the fact that he bought a car. Like, guys, it's it's his money. He can buy whatever he wants with his money. and just Wait, let me get out. this fucking straight. It, You're mad the guy bought a Tesla, but there's a bunch of gamers out there going, I got money, I need the land beginning, and people are still giving them money. So, guys are literally going, I got money, fuck you guys, I'm gonna go buy a Lamborghini. People are financially supporting them. Boogie goes and buys a fucking Tesla, which is, you know, reasonable. And he gets hate- What the fuck? Speaking of, I'm gonna go, um, and start collecting Hutchins bath water. Without her knowing. I wonder how the courts would look at that. Is that criminal? Selling someone else's bath water? That is an interesting question. But anyway, Hachan will probably kill me though. Still want a Tesla? Buy my bathwater. <laughs> to which uh, Bella Delphine or Bell Delphine? I did it again. Bell Delphine actually responded, "I'm going to buy your whole stock." So apparently, she plans on buying every drop of fucking troll through and through. 
Justin Wayne says, what happens if we combine them? To which I responded, probably something along the lines of this. You just take both of theirs, you pour it on you, and uh, this is what happens. <laughs> I even had to tweet out, I was like, I'm kind of curious. What do you guys think the buyers of uh, Belle Delphine's bathwater are going to do with it? Do I even really want to know? No, maybe not. And my buddy Biscuit responded, shout out to Biscuit Batcher. You really need to get back to streaming, buddy. We miss your streams. If you guys are ever looking for a small streamer to support, it's my buddy Biscuit because this dude does some insanely awesome streams. But anyway, he says, I would say they'd want to put their lonely dicks in it, but it's just water. To which I responded, see, that's what I was thinking. Just dunk the tip in like it's a cookie in milk. Jesus Christ, that, that gives me a bad Are you fucking insane? But what are my thoughts on this situation? Situation. Like I said, I find this fucking hilarious. And I think I'm a fan of Belle Delphine now because some of the epic trolling that she does to her fan base is just fucking beautiful. And uh, it's just awesome to kind of see, rather than people criticizing someone for doing something like this, they actually kind of get, get in on the fun and they actually see the humor in it. But at, at the end of the day, guys, those are just my opinions. What do you guys think about this situation? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I always like to hear what you guys have to say. But anyway, guys, this is Tipster here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. That is pretty, like, funny. That, oh my god, my that ate up so much of my brain capacity. When you get matched with your girlfriend on Tinder, you shouldn't be here, neither should you. Holy shit. <sighs> Holy shit. I'm gonna do what's called a pro gamer move. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Sorry, let my brain- give my brain a second. My brain needs a second. Where were we? I don't think we can go back from that. Our brains are just fucked. I mean, we... Oh. Oversimplified. Okay, we did a few of them. Sorry, my brain's, my brain's just Play-Doh right now. God, we just... Oh my god. Oh, what... Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's 1006. What, really? Yeah, kick his ass, Nappa. Yay! Ah! Ah!